after fumbling around for the past three months with no direction of what to do, because it seems like it all needed to be done at once and nothing could be done without the other, we are finally making a move, which is to put the walls on and the bed frame. So today, we're doing foam board insulation, plywood walls in the back section of our bus. And if we have time, we're also gonna frame the bed, which is very exciting, because yeah. that is a piece of our bus. Yeah. In the bus, ready to go, ready yeah. to sleep. We take a nap later. That's actually- we take a nap. Act three is nap. <laughs> Cutting out the foam board was pretty hilarious because as hard as we tried, we kept cutting the pieces too short or too long. Luckily, we were able to go through after the large bits were in and fill up the gaps with smaller strips. We then used the aluminum tape to cover all of our mistakes and any leftover gaps. We cut the plywood to size, this time double and triple checking our measurement as we would not get a second chance. And then we just pre-drilled and screwed it into the ribs of the bus. What do you think? What do you think? So exciting. Today we are working on the bed frame. <laughs> We've got our plans all mapped out. We're gonna start uh, chopping up some wood and get it going. Here we go. <laughs> okay, so uh, we're framing up this first wall, the front wall of our bed. We've just like drilled in, pre-drilled these three inch screws and uh, sunk them in, two in each post. And now we're attaching the top bar, but since it's so long, we can't really like drill all the way through it. So we're gonna use pocket screws, or pocket holes, which I've never used before, but they're really fun. It's a sweet little jig, this little guy right here. And you just clamp it in place. Comes with this handy dandy special drill. We get these awesome pockets with holes down at the bottom. I don't know if you can see that. Ah! <laughs> Looks pretty good. You on your line? Yes! Okay, we're in the mirror. This wall on the back in the two back sections, and then uh, move forward from there. Never did a screw by pocket, am I right? <laughs> this project was short and sweet, which was much needed after the palava of putting in our floor. It didn't come without its challenges, but we were done and dusted in one weekend. Woo! We used metal brackets on any of the corners we could to increase the stability of the bed frame. Okay, last step. Let's bring in the big board. Should we just do one, two, three, or should we do a middle one? Um, we can do a middle one here. Thanks for watching! Whoa, whoa, whoa. So you roll. So my roll. The roll. 